Rose helped John through the letters she penned And Gary number two had children that number ten For the swearing in Hannah was ill so wasn't there Floride was a leader in the petticoat affair Letitia Tyler was a VP's wife for 32 days Sophie Dallas disliked DC so she wouldn't stay Abigail Fillmore spent time in her library Mary Breckenridge was wife to the 14th VP Ellen Hanlon's half-sister was Hannibal's first wife Eliza Johnson, VP spouse till Lane lost his life Ellen went the man who beat her uncle in a race Eliza Hendricks loved to keep a clean orderly place Anna Morton entertained when the Prez's wife was ill Letitia Stevenson helped Adley with her speaking skill Anti-suffrage Jenny Hobart preferred status quo Edith Roosevelt stood by Teddy wherever he'd go Kelly Fairbanks led the way so women knew they could Carrie Sherman knew her James in early childhood Lois Marshall at a kitchen served meals to the poor Grace Coolidge's young son Calvin died in 24 Carol Dasha the elite though Grace was always inferred Marietta was Garner's name but Eddie she preferred Elo Wallace christened the ships what history says As Truman feared if Yar would die and Harry become Prez Between Jane Barkley and Alvin, 33 years span in age Pat Dixon made good wheel trips across the world stage Lady Bird Johnson said the VP office lacked power Muriel Humphrey fought for causes traveling at all hours Judy Agnew preferred the duties of mother and wife Betty Ford spoke out against key things like women's strife Happy Rockefeller, a scandalous divorcee Joan Mundell was Joan of Arc for art advocacy Barbara Bush supported literacy, wrote a children's book Lawyer Marilyn Quill, care of the family she took Tipper Gore advised improving public sanity Lynn Cheney was strongly against music profanity Jill Biden continuing to teach made her very happy Karen Pence increased awareness of art therapy Lawyer Douglas and Hoff's husband to VP Harris And up to now that is all of the VP spice there is